Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we've got another Linux OS review. Today we're looking at Budgie Remix. Now, if you are not familiar with this distribution, it is the Budgie desktop running on top of Ubuntu 16.04 base. So, you get all the good stuff that goes along with the Ubuntu 16.04, you know, the long-term support, you've got the uh, uh, the huge community support, all kinds of software that, that is already set up and ready to go for it, plus you get the Budgie Desktop, which is designed for uh, ease of use and simplicity. So if you're not real familiar with the Budgie Desktop, let me start out by doing a walkthrough here. Um, actually first I've got their home page up right here Budgie Remix and um, talks a little bit about it I'll just leave a link down in the description down below so that you can take a look at that if you want to um, let me get that out of the way and we'll do a walkthrough of the desktop here so this is the, the, the default configuration you got a single panel across the top and then you've got over on the left hand side you've got the plank dock right here so up on the left hand corner we've got our menu you can either click on it or you can use the Windows slash super key and activate it that way and it does have a keyboard search so if you want to look let's say LibreOffice just start typing and boom it starts pulling stuff up for you um, you know or you can go and browse through the various categories however you want to work it so we've got that over on the left hand side in the center we've got our time and then we've got our various tray icons over on the right hand side and if you click over here you get this little panel known as Raven that pops up so it's got this notification section that'll list any notifications if you click on the section that says applets you'll get your calendar you get volume control and then the input and output for your various uh, sound devices right there and then if you come up here and click the little gear icon you can make all kinds of settings so for those of you that have been running um, you know Ubuntu Unity or maybe uh, uh, the uh, GNOME shell this is going to uh, emulate all of the all the functions that you would get in the tweak tools so you know you can play around with your theming you know you've got your options for the widget theme icon theme cursor theme change around the back the backgrounds um, change your your desktop fonts all that kind of stuff and uh, while we're talking about themes you can see they've got uh, you know not a huge number of themes but there's a fair number of themes that are installed by default few different icon themes as well but anyway so those are our general settings and then if you click on panel it'll allow you to configure the panel and you can add the various applets that you want installed uh, how you want them laid out separated all that kind of stuff now being that the budgie desktop is fairly new there is not a whole lot of applets available right now um, myself I'm kind of you know, just going to stand back and wait and see what uh, you know what other applets come down the pike as as time goes on. To me, right now, it's kind of Spartan as far as uh, you know the applets that you that you do have. Um, but once again, it is a very new project, so uh, I'm, I really can't fault them for not having uh, uh, you know a lot of functionality built into the panel yet. So anyway, those are your various settings, and then if you come down to the bottom, you've got your lock, your power button, little gear icon right here will pull up your main settings menu, and uh, you know you can get to work changing all your settings. And you know those of you that once again that are familiar with the Ubuntu um, panel settings, and then also the uh, the settings in uh, the GNOME shell this is going to be familiar to you and uh, that's pretty much it like I said it's it's I wouldn't really call it bare bones but it's simple uh, and you know fairly easy to use and pretty intuitive I mean you know you see the big circle right there you know you just automatically want to kind of go up there and click on it that gets you your menu um, 
come over here click boom you have access to you know just about every setting that you would want uh, access to um, so you know like I said very easy to use and uh, while simple at the same time since budgie relies on the gnome stack you are going to find mostly gnome applications here which is not a bad thing you know we've got some some pretty good applications here we've got uh, you know um, gnome calendar you know, great calendar application we got rhythm box for our music um, gnome videos for videos um, they do have as far as file management we do have Nautilus which I'm not the biggest fan of um, but uh, you know it does get the job done um, personally if I was going to use this as my main desktop I would go and add Nemo because I, I like Nemo much better than I do uh, Nautilus but uh, um, you know I can understand why they why they stuck with Nautilus um, office we've got the LibreOffice office suite and then uh, just kind of going through here real quick I already talked about the Nautilus file manager I already talked about we've got plank doc for uh, for your doc uh, under graphics we've got G thumb for your photo needs um, I was kind of surprised that they didn't add GIMP. It'd be easy enough to go and add yourself. Uh, Firefox for our internet. Office, I already talked about LibreOffice. Um, both Cheese and Simple Screen Recorder I added for doing the video here. Um, and of course we've got our regular um, uh, system tools, you know, your settings, your software center, all that kind of stuff. Under software, let me click that. You've got the GNOME Software Center, which has been adopted by uh, by Ubuntu um, as their new software center. So you know you can go through here, pull out uh, you know whatever it is that you want to go and install, or you know if you're uh, if you're like me, I much prefer to just go via command line and uh, install that way. But this does make it a whole lot easier for new users and those uh, not really comfortable with the command line to go and add uh, applications. Here is the uh, GNOME system monitor. I installed that just so we can take a look at what kind of uh, resources I'm using here. Right now I am using 1.3 gigs of my RAM. Um, now a lot of that is being used up by the processes I'm using for doing the recording here. We'll kind of come over here to where it lists all the processes you can see a uh, simple screen recorder by itself is using um, roughly 410 megabytes of that RAM so you know a big chunk of that that memory use is, is simple screen recorder cheese is using a fair amount so you know that's all the stuff that I'm, I'm I need for doing the recording here um, on its own I wouldn't say that this is a lightweight desktop um, probably medium is, is the best description of it. Uh, it's definitely not as heavy as a uh, GNOME Shell or, uh, or uh, Unity or even uh, the KDE Plasma desktop, but it is certainly not a lightweight like XFCE, Mate, or, or uh, LXDE, LXQT, that sort of thing. But it's, it does kind of give you an idea where, uh, where, where it sits. Um, as far as RAM use, that's probably about where uh, Cinnamon would would fall. Uh, you know, it's heavier than uh, heavier in some of those lightweights, but uh, you know, definitely not a heavyweight in itself. From a performance standpoint, everything has been great with this distribution. I haven't had any errors, crashes, or anything like that. Um, there's been a few minor features that I love to see implemented in the Budgie desktop, but really they're not a big deal. Probably the biggest one for me, something that I like with uh, with the GNOME shell is that you know you've got your calendar or your date up top. You click on it, your calendar drops down, and you got your calendar. And if you sync with Google Calendar, it's going to list all your Google Calendar events right next to it. Now you've got on, on the budgie desktop you've got your calendar right here which is cool and all but you know there's no listing of uh, you know your your Google Calendar events so it's this little calendar here doesn't really sync with um, uh, with the Google Calendar now you can go and sync this calendar the uh, 
you know the main GNOME calendar with uh, with your Google Calendar, and you can see some of my events that are listed there. So, you know that'll sync, and you know yeah, you can go and rather than relying on this calendar over in here, you know, open this one up. Uh, I'm just saying that it would be nice that if that uh, would automatically sync, and then you got quick access to, you know, a list of your calendar events. But once again, it's kind of a little thing, not a real big deal. Personally, I think right now the Budgie Remix is a better option from a getting work done standpoint than the official Solus project, which is where the uh, the Budgie desktop comes from. And I don't mean this as, as anything against the, the developers at the Solus project because they're doing some phenomenal work there. They've gotten a lot done in a short period of time. Um, my own, my only reason for saying that is with having the Ubuntu code base, you've got access to just tons and tons of software. Whereas the Solus project, you don't have access to you know even a tenth the amount of software. And yeah, they've got the the main bases covered, but if it comes to some comes down to something that that they haven't compiled, you know, you got to go and compile it yourself and you're much less likely to have to do that in the case of, um, of any distribution running on Ubuntu code base. Um, so just kind of my two cents on that. Like I said, it's no nothing against the people that are developing Solus. They've done a, a great job over there. There's just so much more software available for that Ubuntu code base. And uh, having said that, that about finishes this review up. I know it wasn't real long, but you know there wasn't any there wasn't a whole lot of bad stuff to bring up and uh, you know it's it's a nice simple desktop it's easy to get through the features and a lot of the stuff is you know it's so easy to work with and so intuitive it doesn't take a whole lot of explaining um, but having said that you any questions comments all that kind of stuff leave it down below I try to get to it as soon as possible if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, and as always, I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.